Welcome to California Size Graph. As we said, we are going to dig a hole. Not just a hole, a deep hole. And for what? For our seismometer. Come on and look at this. We have made some progress with an auger by hand. And on the end of the auger, we welded a handle on here so we can, as you pretty soon will see, you can find out how to go about getting deeper and deeper. And we welded some pieces together in order to continue to put our, let me bring this up carefully because our seismometer is on the bottom of this. All right, it's a nice L4, vertical L4, L4 uh, seismometer that we use uh, quite often. We have different types, but this is just an old L4 that we have and functions very well. But we're going to set this to the side in order to bring the auger in by hand. And this is all been hand work. The first 17 feet of this has been sweating physical. Oh, let me fell off. That's not good. It's good that we know that. We need to get the pin. Where's the pin for that? I think it's in my shop. It's good that we uh, dropped it here and didn't drop in the hole. That would have been 17 feet deep in there. It would have been a little bit of a fishing expedition instead of a drilling expedition from the start but here is the setup i welded this on there so we can actually extend per foot or two feet or whatever we want to extend we can extend that with actual iron pipe now what we need to do is get the pin back in here there we go going through all right to bring this up and drop this in here and go to our last point all right so we can, at least as you see, we can go another two and a half, three feet in here now. And all we need to do is twist this into the ground and then pull this up. Get a piece of wood on the top, it's kind of nice. You can hook it on there and have a minute of rest because it's a type of heavy. Now the tricky part is we can't go straight up, but at the same time we want to not lose our dirt that we dug up because you need to get the dirt out, of course. There we go. And there's a handful of dirt. So we'll keep doing that until we're 18 feet deep down. Let's continue to do this. We're hitting some rocks in the bottom here. Here comes the next scoop of dirt. There we go. By every pull that you pull up, you take about six inches of dirt actually in its depth, which is not that much. But that means that per two pulls, you have a foot that you go down about, which is nice. So we hopefully we can do this by hand to about 30 feet deep. We're about 17 feet now, at least to 30 feet. I want to see to get to see how much of a difference it makes in picking up our main road there. This is not a really traveled busy road, but it's busy enough to have some heavy trucks go over it at times. And you'll see the spikes of that. So the deeper we can get, the further away we can get from that urban noise. Here went the rock. Woo. Here's the rock. I pulled it up, that rock, and then it fell out, sadly enough. So I have to pull it up again and hopefully it stays in this time. Yeah! Whoa. Yeah, that was pretty stuck. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a rest here for a sec. Because I don't wanna have that rock drop out and have to deal with it again on the bottom there. Did it? I think I did it. Yeah, it's right yeah, here. It is there. That's the rock. Get one of them. I'm sure there's going to be more. Well, you saw we were, by the starting, we were about three feet above the ground, about two and a half, three feet. Now we're only less than a foot, I would think. So we're getting in there, like I said, about six inches at a time. More rocks, for sure. I can't even scoop that one up yet. That's two and a half feet deeper than when we started. That's a heavy four. All right. There we go. This is fun. I'm going to be the cameraman in a minute here. <laughs> what if you do the next one? Oh, oh. Uh, I hit on the thing. That's what happened there. 
Oh, there's the big rock. Two oh, big wow. rocks. Look at that. That's uh, that's um, quartz. Quartz, this, yeah. That's not gold, but it, both of them are quartz. They're actually nice. Oh, and it has some iron in there. Check that out. Mm. See that? Oh, big time. Like a. Wow, that hurts. Yeah, this is quartz with a lot of iron and I'm sure some granite stuff or whatever. Cool. All right. You make a jack? Yeah. Let's here. It's good I'm a Dutch guy. I used to dig since I was half a year old. Non-stop digging, the Dutch love to dig. I'm excited about this. I know this is not going to be what we're striving for, but this is the onset of a hole at least to go a couple hundred feet deep eventually. And once you go that deep, we, uh, why is this rope over here? Guess what? I used to use a tool to put this together section by section. And if you use a tool, I dropped it once in a hole. Once it's 17 feet down, there's no fun to try to get out. Especially if that is a lightweight tool, like it was an aluminum uh, pipe wrench that I used. And he can't take a magnet to it or something. So I had to, I had to bring it up somehow. With the help of Dean, we did eventually get it back out the hole. But just a quick concept of the, <laughs> the rope here that I was talking about. See, if you drop one of those in there, and this just broke off, and this rope is not strong enough for doing what I'm doing actually here. Not a good idea. At least when you drop it and it hangs up here. Yeah. All right. When you drop it in here now, we can get it back out of the hole. Shame with this one here. It has also a line to it. Anyway, the reasons why I use this pipe wrench is just loosening this up because once I loosen it up, we can put a extension in there that's ready to go. And this is just a foot and a half more, but that's enough for right now. And then eventually we can put a 5-footer and a 10-footer and a 20-footer in between that. That's kind of what, what we're doing. Just little by little. There we go. Now definitely want to replace it. <laughs> it is, it is exactly why we did that. <laughs> Alright, and I could have dropped this one too while I did that. <laughs> that was a good one. Well, that, so we dropped it once and lucky enough we thought through it and said, nah, that shouldn't happen again. And indeed it would happen again where we slaw. But this time we had the rope and it saved us a lot of trouble. Okay, cool. That was a, that was not even a demonstration of that. That was the real thing. <laughs> Alright, but now you see, instead of being all the way to the bottom, we're not a good two feet up almost. We keep going until we hopefully by hand can't go any further down. Eventually it will get difficult. So when we get 40 feet down, I can imagine you have two 20 foot lengths of pipe on top of each other and you couldn't pull it up unless somehow we have a mechanism to hold this pipe while we unscrew one and then continue to pull the rest. But we'll see. There's some other methods that I've already used. We got about three of these type of holes. This is the deepest. Yeah, I mean, we did a five foot hole on the top there. We did a seven foot hole here and we did a 12 foot hole down here. This is our deepest. This is our 17, probably about 18, 19 feet down now for sure, if not deeper. 90 feet down. Uh, we're going to try to go by hand to at least 40, 50 feet. I don't know. If we're gonna make it, we make it. If not, the ultimate goal is to go 200 feet down. By 200 feet down, we're absolutely gonna be clean as a whistle for picking up just earthquakes. And no longer we pick up then by 200 feet any type of uh, urban noise whatsoever, unless somebody is blasting or whatever. But that would be interesting. As a matter of fact, if somebody's blasting, we could pick it up and see that, and we know it's big. So anyway, we wanna be able to be urban free. We strive for that in Garden Grove, but couldn't. Uh, the deepest hole there was eight feet, I believe. And eight feet, you start to get to groundwater. You know, you have to be careful there. Uh, this is not an issue here. We can go seven. 100 feet deep before we hit water probably either way this is our idea we're gonna go as deep as we can by hand we're gonna measure we're gonna find out we're gonna drop our uh, seismometer in the hole we're gonna see how much we still pick up in urban hours if that is still too much we is <laughs> we're gonna ask you out for a little bit of help with that this is a massive project if we go that deep we absolutely can't do that by hand most likely i mean i'll try my best but we'll see where we have to stop we might have to stop by 30 feet you know who knows we're now about 20. so anyway to whatever depth we can go by hand after that the machines come in it's gonna cost some money 
and we're gonna put a challenge up for anybody that loves our channel that has been with us we're almost seven years this february will be seven years live non-stop with once in a while a blink out because of a update on the computers you guys know we've been here forever we want to stay here forever we love our community we love our folks that are dedicated to our channel our mods our techies we big old shout out to every one of them because man they have made the channel what it is today and we encourage you to as a matter of fact come along and join us in some of our new projects like a deep hole we also do a g7 it is an enormous project we're going to explain this in a full-on video by itself but that will come soon and uh, stay tuned because that project is absolutely way bigger than this deep hole is <laughs> it's a higher hole <laughs> anyway so stick around we thank you for being here california size graph stay up to date with your today's earthquakes and your future earthquakes coming soon again god bless you we'll see you next year have a fantastic blessed 2025 happy new year guys